coming in Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creation so these were the pockets um, that we left off so we've we've done some stenciling we put that pocket in I put that pocket in now that pocket should have been turned the same way as that but you can because there's no directional pattern you can turn it up that way and I did a little bit of stenciling over it and we've just got some tags and bits to to go in it so what I did offline um, was I put a belly band in and I cut out I don't know if you can see I cut out some leaves on the belly band I backed it onto vellum um, so that there's no loose I'd also um, stenciled it as well so what I want to do is I want to do a belly band on this now I've already prepared it I've cut some pumpkins out I've backed it with um, kind of autumn tartan paper um, and the reason I did that is because the, the book well it's from a music book and it is very very um, delicate so that's why I put that one on vellum and this one I've put on on paper as well but what I want to do instead of stenciling I've got some um, napkin here that I want to put on and it kind of matches um, the, the pumpkin shapes so what I'm using is I'm using gel medium uh, pretty gets gritty and that's all I'm using it's getting a bit lumpy so it does need used and just cover the oops I don't want to get that stuck on there before it's time and this will just give the the page um a little bit of stability as well and we'll put that there while I get this on and if there's any hanging over the edge that's fine it doesn't really matter and then I'm just smoothing it on with a bit of the, the medium just to make sure that it's sticking yeah the book page will go a bit crinkled but once it's dried off um, it will flatten out all right and if any of the napkin gets a little bit wrinkled it's fine it's okay just adds to the texture now this gel medium tends to be a little bit on the glossy side oh see be careful when you're putting it on um, I prefer more of a mat I'm just going to go around the edges just to make sure that it is stuck you can't be too heavy handed with this but if you are, you are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to let this dry. Um, it's no good trying to work on it while it's like that. But I am going to trim this off. Not just roughly. There will be some bits left on which... You can either file off with a nail file or you can
trim off with scissors so I will see you in a bit I am back so that's it dry it's a little bit glossy for my liking but never mind and there's a little bit coming off there so I've just stuck it with a bit of glitter glue and I've trimmed around the edge and I normally have a nail file hanging about and I just usually go over it but never mind I did have flaps on here um, but they were a bit they were making it a bit stiff so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it on because I am going to stitch it so I'm just thin line and just guess in the middle okay so that's quite nice and i've got a piece of lace here that i want to put on so i am going to put some lace on on the pages um and again this will get stuck down as well uh, stitched down And just a thin line of fabric tack. I don't think there's any right or wrong here. Just a fur at the end. And it's frayed a bit and that's fine. So we'll put the lid on that and then oh, that will go like that. I will put some lace on this side as well but I'll do that later. So um, I did a video on making bags out of coffee dyed paper so I'd started making one out of an A4 digital and I just folded them into the middle so that there's a line that joins and then I folded that cut down there just take that off so that there's no bulk and these get stuck down here And I always print another um, on the back of my digitals. And I think we'll have that over there. So just a oops, thin line of glue here. And a thin line of glue here. Straight line. Not like me, like a donkey's wonky leg. And I'm just going to trim that little bit off. And then we'll fold that up. And the edges, um, what I did was I used a uh, deckle edged scissors. You can rip them and it's just so that you get that deckle edge lock. Now this should fit in there. I don't want to put too much in. All right, that's brilliant. So that just fits in there nicely. Just 
and this one we've got this um, we'll put these in here I want that one on there. And right, so the, the jar that's just a die cut. Um I've got one here and I I die cut some um, acetate first, then die cut it out on craft card and then just um, put the die on it and just drew around it and then just trim that out. These are just um, bits of uh, dies that I've got and... I want this on here. I'm going to take that out of there. I'm going to put that there. That's two. But I am going to put um, let me have a look. Do I want that on there? I think I'll have that in the middle. So we'll put this one on. And I think these are Tim Holtz thin thinlets. Um, I've got quite a few and I've taken them out of their packaging um, because I have like folders and um, units to keep all my dies. You know, like the boards that slide in with the magnetic paper on so I tend to take them out of the packaging um, right okay Let's see. it does take a little while for the acetate to stick down maybe I should have used um, fabric tack and then I'm going to put one of my little tabs on here um, I'm going to put it on there I've got a leaky and then that's a nice journal card that you can write on and we'll have blue and purple we can't have them um, that's a little pink one it's another pink one another pink one I'll put these in so I want the the small And we'll put that one in. Oops. And there we are. We'll put that there. 
Um, I'm going to put a big one in here. And I'll get my other. And I'm going to put a copper one in. Now these are just a little bit slightly bigger than the holes that the copper dial makes because they're not we are memory keeper grommets and they just need a little bit of a hard squeeze <laughs> and that will go in there again I'm going to put As I said in the last video, these are um, die cuts, uh, dies that I've got and I just do um, just a load of paper at a time. Just see if we can mop up some of that. Oh, it's dried already. And we'll put that on there. And I'm just going to use a bit of stamp. Um. I use the Mementos Tuxedo Black and that one. And that one there. And where's that one? It goes there. I think we can have yeah. and we can put that one back in there. Put that one out there. Just gonna put the lid on here. small hole in there, turn that one back round and we'll have the darker pink in there it's more of a pomegranate colour Okay, so we'll put that there. Um, we've got another one to do, so I'm just going to decorate these up a little bit. We'll just get some tea dye.
one there and I think we'll have one on the side here now I'm not sure whether to do a white one I think I will and I'm just going to get some pink as well just to give it that tone and this is just the Victorian velvet that I've got on this I'm just inking it up a little bit more I'll put that one there and I'm going to have one on this one as well these are the little journal cards that come with the, the kit and I'm just going around this with the, the pink and because it's already a light craft um, colour Just pull it up a little bit and then I'm going to stamp on these um, like that one and again I'm using the Tuxedo black. I usually alternate from the espresso truffle um, to the tuxedo black. Just depends on Yes, that one, that, that's finished. Now, I'm not sure about this because I think I want to... I watch um, a stopwatch on it and I think I'm going to have this one. And I just want secondary stamp. I don't want it... Um, So I want a spare bit of paper. I'll use a bit of this craft card. And I just want to see what it looks like as a secondary yeah. And I just want that. And there we are. Looks quite nice. And what do I want on this one? Do I want the big pocket watch? Again, I just want the secondary stamp on it. I'm not wanting the... That's 
Okay, and we'll put that on here. There we are. And I think we'll have a bit of text. And again, we'll do it secondary, so it's faded. Hmm. That one there. There and we'll have the chronometer or chronometer wording. And we'll have the secondary stump here. And we'll have this one. I think we'll leave that one at that now and I'm just going to fill this one with text, I think. I think. We've got some text here. Turn that one around. And that looks a bit hot. Got another that's that and I think what we might do is we might put some secondary text on there and that is that and I'll clean up all my stumps and then we'll put there and we'll 
just going to put some holes in them. So I know I've, um, I'm going to put some bigger holes in them. And I know I've stamped on them, but that's fine. This one wants to be in the middle. And this one can be in the middle. And I'm going to put whoop. oh no, I'll stand on that. I can see it. And again, I'm going to put a copper one in this one. Okay, and I'm going to put gold one in this little one. Okay, so we'll move these out of the way. And we'll bring this back in. So this was the first one we did and I have stitched around that. Oh, the bag's sticking. You can't have the bag sticking. That's it. So this goes in there like that. That one goes in there like that. And I think we'll have this one in there. Um, what have I got in here? No, I don't want any of them. So we've got that one, and we want this one. So we've got the bag, and I'm not wanting the bag sticking. I think we'll put that one in there as well, and. For now, we'll put that one in there too. There will be another place for that because I want some envelopes in these. But that's everything today. So today we've covered belly bands and the covering the pages with the napkins. And you can see it's a little bit shiny. Um, I mean, you can use matte finished. Um, Mod Podge, just mix it down with a little bit of water and that doesn't give it, but the the gel medium from the uh, Gritty, Gritty Gets Pretty <laughs> um, is, is a gloss, slight gloss, semi-gloss I would say, not full gloss. So I hope you get something from that. And as you can see it's starting to get a Bit of a chunky monkey so the next um page will be this and i think we'll do some sort of like sprays and things on it um but i will put some lace on these as well because i want to put lace on the on the pages so we'll leave it there and i will see you in the next video bye